Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you again, my listeners, to the fifth session of this series on spiritual disciplines as a means of maturity or growing strong in our Christian walk. I introduced this and said that God created us with a purpose. He knew before he created humanity that we would fall, that we would fall into sin. And that does not mean that he actually took us, uh, led us to sin. He knew because he is a God who knows everything, the end from the beginning. And so knowing that we were going to fall, that we were going to lose his image and likeness, he predestined, he planned from the foundations of the earth that all those who are going to receive Jesus, those who are going to accept Jesus, he's going to make them into uh, his image, the image and likeness of his son, Jesus Christ. So God desires that we become like his children. And that is what maturity in the Christian faith is. That is what growing strong, being a strong Christian, it, it means being like Jesus Christ. And we've been talking about the ways in which God has, the things that God has given us to help us to grow. Okay, what we've continuously referred to as means of grace or spiritual disciplines. And we looked at the word as the most important of them all, followed by prayer. And we talked about worship. And uh, we, we are going to talk today about prayer. Uh, sorry, fasting. Fasting, we've already talked about prayer. And fasting is a discipline, a spiritual discipline. And uh, we're living in a, in a society that is very glut. Uh, people are very, uh, are, are so used to being uh, gluttons. We eat a lot and we don't deny ourselves. When you talk about self-denial, it goes against the cultural grain. You know, when you, you talk about uh, denying yourself, fasting, we are talking to a culture that is self-indulgent so that Fasting becomes such a foreign language to many. Yet, this Bible requires us to fast. Okay? We see an example that Christ gave us. You know, before he began his ministry, he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine? Okay? If our Lord fasted, how much more do we need fasting? Matthew 16 verse 60 says, Fasting shows us that fasting is expected of us. Matthew 16, 6, 16 to 17 says, and when you fast. Okay, when somebody says when you fast, it means it is expected. When they say if you fast, then it's not expected. Matthew 9 verse 14 to 15. Okay, uh, Jesus fasted as I've said in Matthew 4 from verse 1. You see how he fasted. Okay, so it is expected of us. So there are different kinds of fasting. There is a normal fast that is uh, abstaining from solid food and just drinking water. There is partial fasting where you limit the kind of food. Maybe you can say, I will eat only dinner or only breakfast that is partial. Or you can eat certain kinds of food. Uh, uh, Daniel fast, the Daniel fast is uh, it's partial fasting fasting where you eat only vegetables and you avoid meat there is also what we call absolute fast where you abstain from drink and and food altogether there is private uh, fast where you decide you yourself that you're going to fast and there is congregational fast and there is national fast i i guess from the names you you can tell what kind of fasts those are why do we fast we fast so that we are God-centered. We are staying to our fle flesh. Now you are going to be silent. To silence the, the, the flesh. To bring the flesh into submission. 
so that we can focus on God so that we can strengthen our spirit because our spirit is the one that communicates with the spirit uh, the, the spirit of God so we become alert spiritually alert through fasting why do we fast beside uh, being God centered to strengthen prayer you know prayer goes hand in hand with fasting so we always talk about prayer and fasting okay to seek guidance when you want to seek guidance from god on a certain issue we fast okay the the other one is to seek deliverance or protection some people who are facing a uh, danger to seek deliverance okay also to be humble to express express repentance when you are deeply sorry for your sins you go into fast to repent to express concern for the uh, uh, the work of God missionaries fast when before you go on a, uh, for evangelism you fast then to even when you see the work of God going down you fast to call on God to uplift his work to overcome temptation people struggling with with certain kind of temptations okay sexual sin you know pornography and other kind of sins that you have tried to overcome on your own sometimes going into fasting helps us overcome temptation to express love and worship to God to say God food is not as important I know there are other kinds of fasting people can 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 fast from social media I see that in the US and other advanced worlds where they think they cannot do without food but when we look at the scriptures fasting always refers to abstinence from food so let's pray and uh, my prayer is that God will give us a desire for him that we may give up even food to to uh, to seek his face and let's always remember that God has often crowned fasting with extraordinary blessings Master in the mighty name of Jesus I come before you thanking you for this series that you've taken us through Thank you Lord that God your people will desire to experience this spiritual disciplines or means of grace as your servant uh, John Wesley loved to call them Lord that God we may grow Lord I pray for the grace Lord to fast I know this is not an easy one and many people tend to avoid it yet there are many blessings that come from it there are many victories that come from fasting and lord as we fast help us also to pray i pray that god your people will give themselves to prayer and fasting in jesus name i pray amen and amen that was the morning encounter We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldorat TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldorat. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldorat. And our website is eldorat.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.